Hello, my name is James McCullough. I'm from Brigham Young, University of Idaho. Uh, my mentor is Dr. Shvidka, and I'm working with the grad student Depeche Nerala. And my project is Stimulated Metal Whisker Growth. Uh, before I begin, I wanted to mention that I'm the medical physics REU student, which means that I get to go over to the uh, health science campus and work in the cancer treatment center over there, and I get to observe the medical physicists. I had to go through HIPAA training to do that, which means I can't talk about <coughs> patients. And I also had four doctor's appointments over the course of two weeks to make sure I didn't have tuberculosis. <laughs> so what are metal whiskers? <coughs> I found this definition on a paper and I liked it. They are hair-like metal structures that erupt outward from a grain or several grains on a metal surface. Uh, this is a picture of one that I took. Um, and they can be straight up, they can be flat, they can have kinks in it like this one, they can be curved, they can go from a few micrometers in length to about a centimeter in length. And they are common in tin, zinc, and cadmium, but they're known to grow on other metals as well. Uh, they are a problem because of this right here. This, that metal whisker grew from one side of a circuit to another, causing a short. They uh, first noticed this during World War II when radios stopped working because they were growing metal whiskers. Also, they caused debris. NASA had a steel floor with zinc coating on it, and the zinc grew metal whiskers, and when people walked on the floor, the whiskers broke off and got sucked in by the computers, and so that hurt their supercomputer. And so NASA actually sent us a sample, and that's the sample that we're gonna be using. But currently, it is not known what makes the whiskers grow, and we're gonna try to grow some whiskers. So it's believed that electric fields might be the cause. So in order to test this, we cut our sample from NASA that has whiskers on it already into four pieces. One will be control, and the other three pieces will be sent to different accelerators. We're gonna be using the ion accelerator in this building. We'll be using one of the medical accelerators, and we're going to rig the scanning electron microscope up to be an, to act like an accelerator as well. But before we can do that, we had to count the whiskers on the samples because there's already whiskers on there. And over the past couple weeks, that's what I've been doing. Uh, we had to get trained on the scanning electron microscope before we could use it. And that took a while. And the reason we're using the scanning electron microscope is you can see in this picture here, they're visible with the naked eye sometimes and with the normal microscope. The problem is illuminating the whiskers. This sample right here, this is the same picture just with different lighting. And when the light is overhead, you can't see the whisker at all. And most microscopes have a ring light that's right over the sample, which makes the metal whiskers nearly impossible to see. Uh, when illuminated from the side, they are more visible. But by using the scanning electron microscope, we don't have to worry about lighting issues. So this is the, one of the pictures that we use to count the whiskers. Each sample had 40 pictures taken, and then from those 40 pictures, I counted the whiskers in each picture and calculated the mean number of whiskers in whiskers per millimeter squared. And the whiskers were 10, 12, 13, and 14. And I talked with Dr. Karpov, who is the leading expert at this university in metal, metal whiskers, and he says that we're on the right order of magnitude for what we're seeing here. So that's good. So next, we're, we're going to measure the heights of the metal whiskers uh, in case exposing them to the various accelerators causes the whiskers to grow taller instead of growing more whiskers. And so then we can measure a shift in the mean there. Uh, then after that, we'll send the samples to the various accelerators, get them back, and then we'll, I'll use the scanning electron microscope to take another 40 pictures of each sample and count them again and see if there's a shift in the mean. And even if there isn't, depending on how much time this takes, we'll probably do it two or three times. Are there any questions? So, so I understand correctly, the accelerators will bombard the sample with charged particles? Yes. And that will produce an electric field? Is that, is that the yes. Uh, the, the, the zinc on top of the steel has oxide with it, and the oxide will become charged, causing an electric field to 
be produced in the sample. But how do you distinguish that from some other thing that these uh, ions crashing into the surface might be doing? Um, I mean, they're I mean, beginning local disturbances and so on in addition to a general field? In the, we think that it, it'll be okay. We exposed <coughs> with the scanning electron microscope to some pretty high uh, current and trying to harm the metal. And because it's a conductor, it's acting like it's not harmed at all. We exposed it to some pretty high amperage. Yeah. So <clears throat> basically you're doing this kind of experiment with the accelerators to Try to grow whiskers fast or we're trying, faster, or we're trying to grow whiskers in general because we don't know what causes them to grow. Mm -hmm. The dipoles on a metal surface might cause electric fields, which could cause whiskers to grow. So by giving them a large electric field, we could get a bunch of whiskers growing. And these are a problem for the the reason this is associated with medical physics is when you have patients going over to the cancer treatment center, if they have a pacemaker, their pacemaker might grow whiskers. That's not good. As opposed to these whiskers. Yeah. And um, will you try to measure the electric field uh, that's created? I'm not quite sure. We haven't done that yet. Uh, I know we're going to measure how much the energy of the particles that we're shooting it with and for how long. Probably just interested in growing some, right? Yeah. Seeing we're, it'll condition. be interesting to see if any grow at all. All right. Well, let's thank James again. Jacob.